Niwa mends the heavens. Niwa Butian. According to the legend, the goddess of heavens, Niwa, made some small clay figures out of mud in her own likeness. As soon as they hit the ground, the little clay figures came to life. They worked hard on the land, and created a world filled with flora and fauna. They But the good times didn't last long, and a fierce battle broke out between the god of water and the god of fire from the heavens. When the god of water was defeated, in a fit of anger, he knocked down the mountain that was holding up the western sky. When the mountain fell apart, the western sky collapsed with a loud crash. The waters from the heavenly river poured down the earth and the people fled in fear. Mankind was facing an unprecedented catastrophe. Nwa cared for humans immensely, and she vowed to put an end to this calamity. Nwa heard that the mountain on the eastern sea produced five colored stones that could mend the heavens. Nwa Thus, she decided to go up the mountain to look for them. Nwa found many five colored stones on the mountain, and she took these magical stones to the collapsed western sky. The five colored stones had to be refined and turned into a gelatinous fluid before they could be used to mend the heavens. Nwa 
Mwa had been refining them for four years and endured a lot of hardship. Mwa 足足练了四年，吃尽了苦头。<coughs> <coughs> Subsequently, with the help of other immortals, Mwa spread the gelatinous fluid tightly over the big hole in the western sky. Later, Mwa, with other gods' help, spread the gelatinous fluid tightly over the big hole in the western sky. The hole was mended. And the refined five-colored stones turned into colorful clouds and rainbows in the sky, making the sky more beautiful than ever. Hole not good anymore, and the five-colored stones were turned into colorful clouds and rainbows in the sky, making the sky more beautiful than ever. Hole not good anymore, and the five-colored stones were turned into colorful clouds and rainbows in the sky. Nwa was worried that the mended western sky was not strong enough, so she summoned an ancient turtle and used its four feet to support the western sky. Nwa 担心补上的西天不够牢固，于是她召唤来了一只上古神龟，用它的四只脚撑起西天。At this time. The floods on the earth had not yet subsided. 这时，大地上的洪水还没有消退。The resourceful Nwa looked for the Earth God from the heavens, and finally controlled the flood. 足智多谋的女娲又从天上找来土神，终于制住了洪水。Peace was restored to the earth. 大地恢复了宁静。The people ran and cheered happily, thanking Nwa for her magnanimous kindness. People jumped up and cheered happily, thanking Nwa for her magnanimous kindness. Nowadays, whenever people see the colorful clouds appearing in the sky, they know that it must have been the spot where Nwa once mended the heavens. Now, every time people see the clouds appearing, 出现的绚丽云彩时，就知道那一定是女娲娘娘曾经补天的地方。古诗欣赏 ，Poetry Appreciation。Guess what? There are ancient poems mentioning the goddess of heavens, Nwa, as well. Here is one by Li He from the Tang Dynasty. Depicting the poet's amazement at the melodious string music being played, then. Nwa 练石补天处，石破天惊斗秋雨。该诗词取自唐代诗人李贺的《李凭空侯影》。以表达诗人对当时美妙弦乐声的赞叹。诗词解释：高亢的弦乐声直冲云霄，冲上了女娲娘娘炼石曾经补过的天际，就好似补天的五彩石被这美妙绝伦的乐声击破了一般，而因此抖落了那漫天的绵绵秋雨。All the way to the spot where Nwa had once used the stones to mend the heavens. It was as if the colorful stones used to mend the heavens had been compromised by this wonderful music, which led to a continuous shower of the autumn rain to fall all over the sky. Here is one more poem extract mentioning Nwa in "Music Above the Clouds." By the renowned poet Li Bai from the Tang Dynasty. 是的，著名唐代诗人李白也曾在《上云乐》中提及过女娲。女娲系黄土，团坐于下人，散在六合间，蒙蒙若沙尘。
。诗词解释：寂寞无聊的女娲嬉戏着用黄土捏造出了愚昧低劣的人类，然后她把他们随意的撒向大地，朦朦胧胧之间就好像沙尘一样。Poetic interpretation: lonely and bored, Mwa playfully kneaded the yellow earth into foolish and inferior mankind. She then scattered them randomly to the earth, creating a misty scene like the sand and the dust. 从这首诗中可以看出，尽管女娲被描绘成因为无聊而创造了人类，但她其实是善良和富有同情心的，否则她也不会不辞劳苦地保护着她创造出的小人儿。在听了故事和唯美的古诗后，你对女娲娘娘有什么想法呢 ？Hope you have enjoyed this beautiful story. Please remember to like. Subscribe and hit the notification bell. Thank you very much, and see you again next time. 希望你喜欢这个美丽的传说，请记得点赞视频、订阅频道和按下小铃铛哦。非常感谢，我们下次再见啦。